I'm going to try and do a cold start on this old uh, Detroit 471. Hasn't started, I think, probably in 15 years. This is out of a gray doll. It's the power pack. It ran a big hydraulic pump, which I've pulled out. Um, I think I got the fuel primed. That's, that's what the old fuel looked like compared to the new. Um, I got the heater core bypassed. I got the air compressor coolant line bypassed. The compressor on this ended up going on the Michigan over there because my compressor went kaput. Got it wired up to this battery. I'm not running a belt right now because compressor, but I think it'll be fine just to run for a few minutes without the fan. So let's see what happens. First crank in probably 15 years. today so while the retort is working on a batch of apple wood I'm gonna work on a axe head that I found over at the neighbor's property um, it's pretty pitted I couldn't find any brand names on it so just to add a little bit of character I ended up giving it a little bit more of a beard which I kind of like just for aesthetics and to pull wood in while you're working and I squared the bit off a little bit um, and I got this nice piece of ash which is our, from our property it's about 34 inches long so I'm gonna try and come up with a uh, design here that I like and go from there okay I got a shape that I think I'm fairly happy with I'll cut it out on the bandsaw a little bit big and I can always fine tune it from there. the handle roughed out to a uh, kind of a general shape of how it's going to be but before I go any further spend any more time on that I should probably fit the head that's a pretty critical thing and if that goes wrong then all the other time would be wasted she's all done I didn't videotape everything but uh, I think it turned out pretty well I ended up going with an octagonal handle because I like how it looks and how it feels I might thin it down a little bit more at some point but for now at least it's functional what do you think today we're gonna move this three-phase generator into its new home beside this shop where it will power some machinery. We're gonna use this front loader to do it because I think that's the only thing I have that'll lift it. As you can see, the wheels are not really suitable for too much rolling. Josh is gonna film. Yeah, I'm gonna film because that is gonna be getting on and off quite a bit. Yeah.
think that just about does it. This is where this thing's gonna live from now on as our source of three phase power until we get something more permanent. Thanks for watching. Bye.